it's time to create new source of lights. Firstly, I will focus on IS light, artificial light. So firstly, I click on this icon in lighting tab, IS light. I click on it. Then I need to go to the folder with lights and select IES light. I use this type of light very often, real IES intermediate bright. Double click and I place it here. I can rotate it. I select the second line and then I rotate it by 180 degrees. It's fine. And then I can select them and copy one more time to the second light. Great. And these are our IES lights. I think that with this placement and this position, this IS light will behave naturally. But before I check it, I go to Asset Editor, IS light, and I change the color. I will change it here. I prefer changing colors in Asset Editor for IS light. Okay, and I change intensity to 5000. That's all. I go to Scene 1 and render. And the render looks very interesting. Let's take a look. I go to source light mix and here we have IS lights, which we can change. But if you want to change these lights separately, just go to asset editor to render elements, light mix, and in the properties, change group by to individual lights. And additionally, I will check separate emissive materials. This option is available from V-Ray 7. And let's render again. Are you happy with this video? This scene I've been working on is part of my brand new V-Ray for SketchUp visualization course coming soon. Make sure to sign up for the list and you will be the first to know when it's ready. Check the description below the video or click at the upper right corner. And I go to light mix and let's see that now we have four position here. I use light two, three, four, five, and we can change intensity of each light separately. And I think that we can move on and create new mesh light. I will focus on LED lighting in the ceiling over here. So firstly, I need to select the group. The group is selected. Then I click on convert to mesh light tool over here. And let's see that all LED lights, they are converted into mesh light because they were created as components. So if we have four components and we want to change only one component, the rest also will be changed. So I think that it's much easier and faster when we are changing components. Okay, great. I can change the name. I will rename it to LED ceiling and I can also change this light. It's a group. Again, I change it to mesh light and that's all. I can rename it to hanging lamp. Great. And now I will focus on the mirror over here. I would like to illuminate it from the back. So firstly, I will move it to the left side to see back face. And I will show you how to do this. Firstly, go to the group, select the face and using offset tool, I create the offset inside, for example, 1.5 centimeter. And then I select the center face and using push pull tool, I add the thickness. It can be one centimeter. And then I select this face, narrow face and I will create emissive material. But firstly, I need to create this material. So I go to materials, create new emissive one. We can change the color. We can leave it as it is. For sure, I will change intensity to five to make it visible. And that's all. And I need to select this face, right click, apply to selection, and it's applied. Great. And then I move this group to the right side. I don't want the mirror to build in the wall. I place it on the tiles and that's all. Everything looks fine. Let's render. Let's see that we have mesh light in the ceiling and here in the hanging lamp, but there is no emissive light behind the mirror because still our material override option is turned on and all the materials are overridden by this option. So if you are using V-Ray 7, just check the self illumination option. If you are using V-Ray 6, V-Ray 5 or older, just click on emissive material and here at the bottom, uncheck can be overridden option. 
and render again. Great, and that's all. Let's take a look that here we have very nice emissive light. We have emissive position here. I can change the lighting. I can change intensity. I can increase it or decrease it. And I think that newly created lights look great.